So fundamental to truth are the difference between a concept and an idea. A concept is the kernel, the heart, the absolute meaning of something, and the idea is the way we illustrate it. So every patent will have a concept and quite a lot of detail there. And the difference between a concept and an idea is one concept can produce many ideas. So the idea that we are actually linking so many different areas to one concept sort of makes sense in this. So the, so the principle that material science ideas, chemistry ideas, electrical engineering ideas, physics ideas, etc., all use the same concepts, sounds very strange, but when you analyse the patent database, that's exactly what you find. So all you have to do is strip out the detail and get back to the fundamental concept that's behind each idea, each patent, and you can see how many answers there are. And so what they found is that there were just 40 fundamental concepts, conceptual ways of solving a contradiction. So a contradiction, something like, I want something long, and I want it short. Long and short. And this has been, so this contradiction of having something long and short has been solved in a very simple way, which most people would describe as telescopic. But in the Russian, it's described as nested doll. So these 40 concepts have a slightly Russian flavour. It's number seven, number seven of the Tris principles. Russian doll, how to have something long and short being one of the ways you can use this principle. So they're all very simple concepts, but whenever they found a patent that had something clever, solved a contradiction, they would record it and use it for future truth use. And it always had something clever like solving a contradiction. The truth contradiction toolkit only used the clever patents, the ones with breakthroughs, the ways that solved contradictions. And these were used in all kinds of truth tools, and ones we're going to talk about now, the very famous truth contradiction matrix, the physical contradiction solution tools, separation principles. They were all came about from studying clever patterns. So this has not been thought, thought up by a couple of clever inventors. It's from solid research into human cleverness, as recorded in all the patent databases. This illustrates principle number one, segmentation. And segmentation can be physical things or kind of management things. And this is a kind of management example. The idea that you segment people's jobs and everyone has a different job. So and we use it for situations where we need to be adaptable, where we have to adjust to different conditions. So principle number one, segmentation, is basically saying everything gets smaller, which we understand very much now in science and technology. Segmenting the door makes it very clever, very easy to be there and not there, solves the contradiction. It's there when, when, when we need to keep the cold in, and it's not there when we need to walk through it. The 40 principles, when I first looked at them, were quite hard to understand. So Oxford Tris has commissioned cartoons to illustrate every single principle. Principle number 21 is how to avoid something harmful by doing it much faster, which we've illustrated here with kind of walking across hot coals. I'm not sure I'd ever want to do that. And there's lots of reasons why doing it faster actually works. Lots of physical reasons, which you can cover on Wikipedia. This is an illustration of a knife that if you cut a plastic pipe very slowly, you get deformation. So if you want to avoid harm, the harm of deformation, you just do it faster. So for many engineers, they say, well, this is just common sense. But sometimes we have to be reminded of just you know, using principle 21 at this situation. So TRIS is an awful lot of application of common sense, but done very systematically and reminding you when the best solution will solve your, your particular problem. Principle number two is called taking out. And that refers to taking out anything harmful, but leaving all the good. Many training rooms I go into have fantastic air conditioning, but they also have a huge amount of noise. And so the TRIS principle number two will say, take out the bit you don't want. So keep the air conditioning, put the noise outside. And that's exactly what you can do. So it's just separating out the good from the bad. Again, fundamental common sense. But quite often when we're problem solving, we have to be nudged to the right and very simple solutions 
to find the very best ways of using resources we've got and separating out the bad things from the good. Taking out means looking at all the functions that a system provides and saying, well, do I want all those functions? Ideality says it's only a benefit if you want it. So if you were to have a system like a dog and you didn't want many of the functions a dog gives you, and a dog's got many functions, it's not just a burglar alarm, it's also a friend, it's also a personal fitness instructor because you have to walk a dog. So if you don't want your dog to love you and you don't want to have to take him out for a walk every, every day and all you want is a burglar arm, there are systems where instead of having a whole dog, you just have the sound of a dog. And I've actually seen these now where it's not just the sound of a dog barking, but there's a very sort of fierce sound of a dog scratching at the door as well, which is very off-putting if you go towards a door in the dark. But a very effective burglar alarm without having a dog. So you've taken out all the bits of the dog you don't want and you just have the function you want. The fourth principle, asymmetry, sounds rather strange, but all designers, all inventors, apparently will make everything symmetrical unless they're tugged away and told, try something asymmetric because it might solve the problem. So again, very simple principles and trees, but see these used in such so many highly technical situations. So something like pokeyoki, which is the Japanese asymmetric. You design something to be asymmetric so you can only put it in one way. You can't put things in the wrong way. Incredibly important in things like aircraft maintenance where you're doing things very fast and if you did it wrong it could be a matter of life and death. So very powerful, very simple, but again we have to be nudged through to be reminded to use this kind of common sense.